reality. Hulk Hogan, what makes you think you're even in my league? The Rock. The matchup that will determine who will go down in history as being the absolute best ever. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program for this special report. Here we are with WrestleMania 18. We've played so many games on the channel, so many wrestling games on the channel. And I can say like WrestleMania 18 was definitely a miss for me back in 2002. I was a little kid, but I remember playing this many times and years later, many times, of course. Um, you could just tell from the music, man, in the menu screen, this was definitely an arcade game. This was an arcade experience and that's what they offered us. But let's just talk a little bit about this. This game was obviously developed by Ux and um, THQ back in 2002. This game came out alongside, I guess, in, within the same year of Raw, which was an exclusive to Xbox, and also SmackDown Shut Your Mouth, which was, prior to that, was just Bring It, and they had, like, this whole overall upgrade, and it was a great game. Shut Your Mouth was a fire game. So my question to you guys, was WrestleMania 18 at all at the level, or same level, or even better than Shut Your Mouth? Please drop your comments below, because in my humble opinion, absolutely not. This game had some pros, but it had some cons. And the only pros I can really think of was how easy it was to get into because the controls was very simple. Um, again, it was an arcade game, you know, so it really catered to a more broader audience. It wasn't something to be taken serious, but the biggest drawbacks for me was the replay value because it has such a short story. It didn't have like, it was very repetitive. And it didn't have that many options to choose from. And you would hope that you had a buddy that either lived next door or a sibling who can play this game with you so you can get your hours in. Some may disagree, but that was my experience. So when you say here and ask, was this game better than Shut Your Mouth? Shut Your Mouth had a way more comprehensive response to like the fan base with its, you know, single player immersion with the with the season or career, however you want to call it. It had way more, uh, ro like a, a better roster. It had more modes to choose from. And obviously the controls for that game was a little bit more complex, but it was way better of an experience in my opinion. But of course today, I gotta bring you this gameplay, man. And I just wanna say if it's a Monday for y'all, I hope you're having an amazing Monday morning or afternoon, whatever time you get to see this. And thank y'all, we're almost at 50 fucking K. But let's go ahead and do Path of, of a Champion. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up a little bit. We're gonna try this mode out. I believe this was their story mode. And this game was really uh, about representing WrestleMania. So let's just really uh, see this. So it says title holder. We'll do title holder. And of course, Triple H is the heavyweight champion. We have Rob Van Dam as the intercontinental. We have Christian as the European uh, title. Okay. Hardcore. Oh my God. Light heavyweight is it. We had a light heavyweight title. We need to bring that shit back. I'll play as the Undertaker with the hardcore title. What? Let me see. Am I able to? Oh, no, I don't think I was able to do that. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, this was just letting us know who holds the title. All right, so we got to do a new game. Let me let me go against this. And I like this option, too. Now, again, this game featured a decent sized roster. We're not going to sit, sit here and say it didn't. But um, hmm. Mighty Holly. Holy shit. Stephanie McMahon, Trish Stratus, Jacqueline. Holy crap. If anybody remember playing this game, please drop your comments below. Let me know how you felt about playing this game. What was your experiences like? And years later, if you played this game, does it still go down as one of your favorites? Unless it was your first game, possibly. I'm going to go ahead and play as Undertaker for the hardcore title. This is a very simple game. You know what I'm saying? It was easy to get into. It wasn't anything to be taken serious. Um, I'm definitely going to play WrestleMania 19 this week, you know, in the channel. Oh, my God. I talk a lot, don't I? Shit. All right. Is this the correct song? Oh, wait. Walk in. Rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. That was my shit. Taking a look at this entrance. This look nice. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. He looks Puerto Rican. He look like me. There's a hurricane coming through. Holy shit. Look at the fan. We want Taker. No, we want Cody. Let's not act like they ain't disrespect my mans. So you see the gameplay. Very, it felt good. Definitely arcadey. Had a whole different experience. Let me see this. 
R1 is to pin somebody? Everybody look funky in this bit. Okay, Jesus Christ. The music, everything. Well, I need to see the controls. Jesus Christ, where the hell at? All right. So we have to run, okay, lift. We have reversal strikes, obviously. You have strikes, which is this button. It says to get weapon. Oh my God, I gotta press, Uh oh. The buttons is nasty work, son, word. Oh my God. All right, so seeing that that's the pin button, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Hmm, bitch. All right. So that's the reversal. Okay. Let me pick this up. How the oh shit. Stop playing. I was able to choke slam you as a regular move. Get your ass out of here, Gangi. Oh man. And just take, remember, r remind yourself what really came out this year. Remember, shut your mouth came out this year, y'all. And I used to tell myself, you know, the reason why, you know, the GameCube did this was, oh wait, what the fuck? The reason why GameCube, you know, they released games like this arcadey was simply because, you know, they, they, they figured, you know, Nintendo figured this console was really more for kids, but no, they were in their back. They had some fire games at the time. Um. I wouldn't necessarily, you know, agree to that because then of course they have reckoning, uh, they have reckoning just looked fucking incredible. Oh no, you got me fucked up. What the fuck is going on? Get your ass up, bro. I'm not losing this title to you. I could literally talk all day. I just need to know. I need to start asking y'all personal questions. I just need to get to know y'all a little bit more. Are y'all the type that Y'all just want me to shut my mouth and not talk while playing these matches or y'all okay with the commentary as we talk a little history with these games. Uh, hello? Oh my f <laughs> Yo, imagine this video gets claimed because of the goofy ass music. I ain't gonna lie, I would never say in, in, in life that WrestleMania 18 had a good soundtrack. This shit had a menu screen soundtrack. So I said, hmm, hmm. Come on. But you always gotta love. They always capture Undertaker's actual move sets. Me. Hmm. Okay. Again, after you know, when you when you really get yourself into this game, you know, I think as a kid, I didn't recognize what the hell a five star match was. I didn't know what the fuck we was talking about. But I can honestly say when you go back and play these games, um, that's another thing I do want to make sure that it's very clear. When we go back and play these games, I'm really not just going off of how the game feels mechanically and just with graphics, but just wondering if I can provide a five star match experience. I think that's the best way to go when playing some of these old games. And if you can provide that experience, like whenever I play Here Comes the Pain, it's never a dull moment. I feel like I can get my bag off and like even if I'm getting fucked up by the computer and just feel good about the way the match ended, even if I lost. Um, but some of these games, you kind of feel like, nah, I was kind of ragging on the CPU. CPU wasn't as hard at the time. I, I don't, I didn't get that feel. I am understand seeing that this, the, the controls are pretty simple and repetitive. I'm trying to. Okay. God damn. Do I not have my special? Let me see. What's my, what's my move for my special? Special slots? Spirit, it says red, a red high, green, regular, blue danger. Should I better be in some high spirits? You gonna fuck do? It says spend a full slot to use your special move. Now, what's to do my special? All right, what's to do my special? I'm trying to see. Move reserve. Special move is an AB. Okay, so AB is go. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Let's return, bitch. Did I just? 
is that my special? Oh yeah, this game only had like this game only had yeah, you see? This game and no commentary either. This game only had one. And I repeat, like I think one special if I'm not mistaken. I could be incorrect, but I just I was able to do the tombstone as a regular move. And they didn't, yeah, you see, this was a very simple game. And that was the experience I had as a kid with that game. But remember, I played this game. I didn't own this game. We had friends all over the neighborhood. I played this game no problem. But I own Shut Your Mouth. And Shut Your Mouth was providing a way different experience. So I was always going back home like, nah, man, this Shut Your Mouth was the shit. Like, Shut Your Mouth, I was out here going crazy with it. Um, player has defeated the title, has defended the title. Excuse me. I need to buy this title. Somebody in the chat bought me that title. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with your Um, see, that was Path of a Champion. Now this is Battle for the Belts. Let's go ahead and battle for the belts. We'll give it a shot. Unification map match, excuse me, champion belt and a title shot. Do you want to load belt data? No, I'm good. Let me see GCW. Wow. I mean, I, I watched uh, the Matt Cardona and Nick Nemeth uh, GCW match, the, uh, the, I think, the other night. Let me see. Wow. I need that belt for real, like IRL type shit. Let me see. Select belt. It's a hard difficulty. Oh. Uh, hey, that's a woman's belt. Like, that wouldn't make sense. I wouldn't. You know, I would like I would have to play as the females, right? If I'm not mistaken. Let me see unification match. What's this? Normal match, hardcore match, hell in the cell, tables match. You know, let's do hell in the cell. Let's really change up the pace here. Entrances. I'm gonna just turn them off because the copyright should be trash, bro. All right, WrestleMania. Yes, sir. All right, who we're gonna be for this uh, title unification? Match. The Rock. We got Stone Cold. Bruh, we'll never get this brash show ever again. This shit was nuts. Shane O'Mac, Taz, Lance Storm. That's actually crazy. Um, Kurt Angle. Oh man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna play as Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Trust me. Don't think I just wanna be playing as his ass. Oh, wait. I forgot you got to play this shit with a friend, yo. Now, of course, we see the, you know, regular matches, very simple matches. Another thing this game didn't have as deep was the customization. Um, Sometimes I look back and I say, you know what? I'm grateful for the wrestling games we got now. Absolute like gems of like, you know, features that we get. So I'm never really like upset. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me see this hardcore cage match. Hell in the Cell. Now I'll do the Hell in the Cell match. Match length for uh, submit for road break off entrances off because of copyright now let's go ahead who am i gonna be let me go back who was i well oh, yeah, i was playing as hollywood hulk hogan we're gonna go up against we're gonna change it up a little bit razor ramon we're gonna do kevin nash and let me see who else will we add to this hmm who would be a great addition do we have mick foley here Am I, am I tripping? Oh, wait, he's not. He's probably locked. I believe he got to be locked. Um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll pick Chris Jericho. Okay, cool. I would do this. Now, NWO, I ain't gonna lie. They were the ones. That's the only time I like Hulk Hogan, but I will tell you. Hogan, thank God you was not in the rumble. Stop playing with me. Come on, bitch. Damn, hey, yo, son, it was just fast pace. It was one of them games. Are you kidding me, bro? I know. I know. I know. Oh my God, I'm trying to reverse, bro. The reversals in this game was treacherous, bro. There we go. Oh my God, bro. This old motherfucker. Come on, get up, Hulk Hogan.
Hmm. I'm telling you right now, my goal for this year is to really, Jesus Christ, is of course, I'm, I'm, I'm still flushing. I got some Def Jam content coming out. Just letting y'all know that. I got some Def Jam content coming out. I got some Silent Hill content. And we will be starting Budokai 2 this, uh, Budokai 2 this week, like a, a deep dive into that game. Um, My Scarface, my Scarface GTA 4 and Sleeping Dogs will be dropping this week. I do apologize. We was just dealing with a lot of um, demonetization issues because of in-game music and a lot of stuff. And because the game features a lot of gore in it, like Scarface and GTA, it were uh, saying no monetizing, whatever, which I'm not, I'm not really worried about the monetizing. I'm more so worried about the videos getting banned in certain countries. You know, that's kind of what I don't like. This game was so limited. This game did not have it like that. And goddamn, these guys get up so fast. It's a battle royale, right? So if I'm not mistaken, it's not a fatal four way. I did not want to go up against this guy. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. And you know, what's crazy when I played this game as a kid. Remember, I was playing. Oh, shit. I was playing such a mouth. So I already knew. Nah, this ain't my game. This ain't my go to. But I do can I I, I saw do can I do respect a lot of people who would sit here now, probably in the comment section and say, oh, this was their game because this was definitely like the game for the time that it came out. Get your ass out. What the hell? Yo, Sky Hall, what you trying to do to me, gangster? Yo, I want him to come outside so I can whip his ass. Are you not going down with a sledgehammer? I want to climb on the top of this bitch. Wait, this is a battle royale. I know I'm not about to lose. Hold on. Plan. Let me go ahead and interfere this match. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh my god, bro. Get up. I just realized Hulk Hogan, you got an ass special. I'm really not. Oh shit. Oh shit. We just interfered that. I'm not really like fond of your special move, too. Oh fuck. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Oh shit. That was your special move, bitch. Come on. I'm still in the green. It's Jericho, you in the yellow motherfucker, so I can't. I ain't gonna lie, the fact that I can't deny his shit is insane. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Are you serious, bro? I was over here denying that. I ain't gonna lie. Oh shit, he pinned. What? I thought I did a battle I thought it was an elimination. Get your ass out of here. I thought it was an elimination. Oh my fucking goodness, bro. I'm over here trying to do this special for this man. Hell no, I'm not ending the video on that, yo. Hell no. Hell no. Get your ass out of here, bro. 
I thought, I thought it was battle royale. Did I not do a battle royale? What the fuck? Am I tripping? Oh shit. Nah, I think I did something else. <laughs> Hold on. Nah, I didn't. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm tripping. You know, for this one, I'll pick Stone Cold, of course. We'll go. We'll go. I get Taz. We go ahead and pick up Taz real quick. Taz, little funky ass. Third angle. Uh, will I go test? I pick Lance Storm. Holy shit, I'm kind of upset. A battle royale. So what? Am I tripping? The Taz was one salty motherfucker and, and tough enough, dude. Like, and I can't believe he's Italian. I thought he was black all my life. I swear to God, I thought he was black, y'all. I know he be spray tanning like a motherfucker. Yo, these sound effects were something serious. Come on. Let me see if I can pin. They don't care, right? Shit. Bitch. I'm winning this fight. Oh my God, bro. Get up, Stone Cold. Yeah. Yo, these moves are fucking generic as hell. Why I don't have that many movesets at Stone Cold? I don't have that many movesets at Stone Cold, bro. Oh my God. You know what's crazy? I did a play every SmackDown video in, in every SmackDown game in one video. I'm thinking about playing all every uh, WCW uh, game in one video. I think that'd be great, but I think it's for the Nintendo 64 if I'm not mistaken. What would happen if I pin? What? Why are you not fighting me, bro? Oh my God. Oh my God. Come on, Stone Cold. Ooh. One, two, hmm. Let me see. Hey, I like that. Okay, okay. They got the stunner. They got the good version of the stunner. All right. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's that. It's that elimination. Yeah, here. I'm pinning your ass. Yo, Taz, are you dead ass right now? What? Oh shit. I need to stun his ass. Come on, let me get my special. Oh fuck. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Come on, bro. I'm getting fucking bodied out here. Bro break, no. Yo, bro, they are literally on my dick, like for real. Come on, bitch. Come on. Hmm. Bruh. Oh, shit. Ah, my neck. 
Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit. Angle ain't fucking going for not angle. Taz ain't going for that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not holding back on nobody. Bitch. Fuck. Yo, Kirk, why, why are you getting in the way of shit? Oh, fuck. Let me get my ass back in here. I got my special too. You better stop playing with me. Ain't got us no count out because I be forgetting how to pin. Come on, Stone Cold. Fuck. Oh my. Ooh, right on top of him. That's actually kind of fire. I like that the physics back then, you know, you can do an, a move on somebody. Oh shit. Oh fuck. You can do a move on somebody and it'll still affect them. If I can stun Taz, it's over. Oh my God, bro. Are we serious right now? Oh my God. Hell no. Why are we safe? Why are we saving me? Oh my God. Yo. No shot. Oh my God. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh my God. Hold on. Bro, almost lost that shit. Bitch. Pin him. Let's go. What? Yo, nah, I'm getting hold. Bro, I'm getting hold literally. You lost? I ain't gonna lie, the fact that her angle almost got a shit. Come on. No shot. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lose to Kurt, man. Fuck no. Bro, are we fucking serious? Come on, man. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Why he stopped? Bitch. Let me let me go ahead and tip and taunt. Come on. Hmm. Come on. Come on, bitch. I'm cheesing. Let's go. What? Fuck this. Oh no. No, no, no. No shot, bro. No shot. I got hold by Kurt motherfucking angle. Get up, Austin. Come on. Come on. Break. What? Why you didn't fight me? Shit. 
Shit, bitch. Come on. How the? Yo, listen, if y'all like, fuck. Yeah, break. Come on. Good shit. Good shit. Come on. What? Hell no. Hell no. Come on, we can't lose, man. Oh my. Holy shit. Are you serious? Oh, no, nah, this is fucked up. Oh, my God, he just did his fucking thing on me. Oh, shit, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's Joe over, dog. He got his fucking special now. Oh, my fucking goodness. Let me not get fucking. Holy shit, bruh, bruh, I'm getting nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Let's go. Fuck you. Bitch! Stop playing with me. No shot. No shot, bro. No shot, bro. There's just no way. There's no way Kurt Angle is really holding me down like this. No shot. No, 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 no. Come on. Hmm. No shot, no shot, no shot, no shot. Come on. Get up, get up. Why is you getting up? Yo, Kurt, why are you why are you breaking your own pin? Why are you breaking your own pin? I'm confused. Break? Break? Oh God. Oh my God, bro. Come on, bitch. We got to end this once and for all. Screw you. No! Oh my God, y'all. Break. Come on, bro. Come on. Mm. Come on, man. I'm not losing to you. Mm. No, no. Oh my God, bro. My fucking thumbs hurt. My thumbs hurt. Yo, there's no way. There is absolutely no way in hell this match is going on for this long because Kurt, my fucking angle. Ah! Come on. Oh my God, I need to submit him. 
No shot, bro. Break, break. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh. Come on. I got to end this. Please, man. I don't care if we go outside. This is insane, bro. This is fucking incredible. I don't. I don't understand. Uh, oh, there we go. Bitch, and that's the only move he really had. Bitch. No shot. All right, we got three in the tuck. Come on. Come on, Stone Cold. Get up. Get up. How the fuck you had an angle slam in the tuck, big? Come on, man. I'm telling you right now, I'm going crazy, bro. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stun you three times so that you know shit is real. Bitch, that's one. I'm not doing it no more, bro. Come on. That's two. Three. That's three stunners. That's three. There we go. It took three stunners. Three stunners to get right with you. In one sequence, too. Not even in the sense that I, yo, I had to do like eight stunners on you, bro. This is another game where Chris Benoit cheated in one of them. This game was ridiculous. But listen, if you guys enjoyed, this is the experience for WrestleMania 18 in 2002. If you was around at that time, if you was already a JIT like me at that time and you was playing, you would see why. This game gave you that fast paced experience. That's pretty much what this game offered. It didn't have that much of a story. It was very simple, short. Customization wasn't that deep. It was for the GameCube community, the GameCube players and stuff like that. But if you really wanted something more in depth, way more immersion, uh, more comprehensive, you would have played SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. But please let me know what you guys think about WrestleMania 18 in this video below. Comment, hit that like button on the road to uh, 49K, no, 50K. Hey, we almost there though. But I appreciate y'all so much. God bless. Tune in for all the other videos we got this week. Dragon Ball Z, we got some anime games, some horror games. We are touching on a lot of games this week. So appreciate y'all. God bless and I'm out. Peace.